Let's talk about another subject for a moment. Let's have a chat with Rada Sterling. Uh, this is about this 42-year-old man, Scott Richards, who's been arrested in Dubai for sharing a charity post on his Facebook page. Uh, or Rada uh, Sterling, Sterling uh, works for the charity. Um, sorry, she doesn't work for the charity. This cue makes no sense either. I do apologise. Let's have a chat with uh, Rada Sterling. Uh, she's chief executive of the British-based group Detained in Dubai, and she joins me now. Hi, Rada. Hi there. Hi. Give me the background to this then. This man's uh, living in Dubai, working over there, and he basically reposts something on Facebook, does he? Yes, it seems that they, they haven't charged him with anything yet. So, I mean, it's yet to be determined, but they have indicated that they're going to um, investigate him under the charity laws that prevent any sort of sharing of any charitable cause outside of the UAE that's not registered. And is that a new law they've just introduced, or has that always been the law? No, it was introduced just one year ago. So why wasn't he aware of it if he's living and working? I had a guy earlier who had an argument with me. He said that when you go to work in Dubai, basically you get told the rules. This chap should have known the rules. He's disobeyed the rules. He has to take what's coming to him. Uh, Absolutely not. Um, There's a lot of confusion over these charity laws. And even this week, um, the news broadcasters over there certainly publish articles that are promoting charities. I'd say approximately 70% of people in the UAE are currently in breach of these laws, not really knowing um, that they can be charged. Okay. So, basically, the the thing he did was uh, about raising blankets, was it, for kids in Afghanistan? That's right, yes. Okay. And he's been put in prison, he's awaiting charge, and he's not given any legal representation. Is that part of the argument? Uh, yes, he's been in there three weeks, uh, not charged, and he doesn't have access to his legal representatives. Um, and they've just extended it further, so he could be in there for months and months. It, it, it just depends. They, they can take their time, as they, they certainly have okay. in the past. So what would you say to Josh Morgan, who sent me an email? Hi, John. The guy goes to Dubai knowing it's a strict country. He's not gone to Spain, has he? When in Rome, do as the Romans do, Don't uh, like here, don't wear hijabs or form communities within communities. Much of a muchness. Josh doesn't seem to have much sympathy. I mean, it's not my view, it's a listener's view. What do you think? Oh, yes, of course. Um, I mean, this is an argument I hear a lot. And, um, you know, a lot of British people go to um, the UAE to work there. And for the most part, they live quite a liberal life. So, I mean, he's been aware of the laws, obviously, for a long time, and he has uh, never been in trouble before. Um, So I think it's just that this law is very new. I mean, if you go there and you drink alcohol and you don't have an alcohol license, you're obviously going to be aware of that, and that's a risk that you take. But in a circumstance like this, most of the population is not aware of the consequences of this law, and no one else has been publicly um, charged in the UAE under these laws. So what are you calling for, for the government to intervene? Uh, Yes, I mean, certainly lobbying... um, UK government and also Australia, he's a dual national, and we're hoping that the UAE will see that, this, I mean, this is a very difficult matter. If they're going to arrest him and charge him, they need to go and have a look at Facebook and arrest about 50% of the population who's doing the same thing. Well, they're trying to put the genie back in the bottle, and you just can't do that with Facebook, can you? <laughs> no, that's right, certainly. Okay, so will this man get released, do you feel? I'm hopeful. I mean, we had a, a case last year of some Brit- British people who were, who were arrested for plane spotting, and they were in detention for four months before finally being released, and they weren't charged at all either. So it can go on a long time. We're hoping for a release, or at worst, it would even be better if they charged him so that we could get a court date and uh, defend the case in court. I think I agree with you. Good talking to you, Rada. Thank you very much indeed. Rada Sterling, Thanks. she's the Chief Executive Officer of Detained in Dubai.